So this is an implementation here that uh, Josh actually built out for him and his wife's tea company. They have a little tea company, Kinleaf Teas, they're great. Um, and Josh uses Zoho and Shopify to kind of manage and operate their little business. And so essentially Josh had set up the initial connection between Shopify and inventory, and it's working well, right? Where your items are gonna sync, your stock is gonna sync, sales orders are gonna get created as orders are placed in Shopify. Um, but the main challenge here is that there are two key things that that integration does not do. Um, it does not properly manage your like accounts receivable or invoicing. Um, and then it does not actually sync in fulfillments that are coming from Shopify into Zoho inventory. And so to solve for this, Josh essentially did two things. So first he set up a custom function that runs on creation of a sales order that will automatically create an invoice and market paid. Um, in this case, right, and I think for most people that are using Shopify, the order is only placed when it's fully paid right now. Some people are going to do payment terms, payment over time that might need to work a little separately. But again, most of the time I'm buying a set of shoes or something on an e-commerce site, I'm paying fully upfront. And so he goes ahead and just automatically creates an invoice connected to that sales order and then logs the necessary payment for it. Mm -hmm. Um, and then part two is, let's say, you know, a couple days later, um, you know, Josh is shipping this tea out. Uh, we actually, you actually set up a flow that looks into Shopify. And when a fulfillment is recorded in Shopify, it'll go ahead and find the matching sales order in inventory and create the package and shipment for that, along with the tracking number and, and really all that necessary information. It's so really at the end of the day, creating these records essentially can just help, um, to keep your accounting and physical stock keeping measurements accurate. Um, for those who have kind of done deep dives into Zoho inventory, you'll know that, um, for example, physical stock does not actually go down until you've recorded a shipment for a record. And so if you have a sales order that comes in and you never create that shipment because you just fulfilled it via Shopify and, and kind of ignored the sales order, then technically speaking, if you were to pull like an inventory valuation report, Zoho is going to think you have more in your warehouse than you do. Um, kind of the same on the accounting side of the house. It's like, so you know that you have this confirmed sale, um, but it's definitely a best practice to finalize it and let Zoho know that it was also paid, right, via that invoicing side. Um, so we've done this different type of thing in lots of different ways, shapes, and sizes. Um, but, you know, this was just a really clean implementation of that integration. So we thought we would feature it here for you. Yeah, nice. One will roll out to other clients. And if you have, what's the name of the tea company again, Tyler? Hinleaf Tea. Spell that? K-I-N Leaf. Ah. Kinleaf Tea. Really good teas. Kin I've got one in my cabinet right now. Kin Yo, they're fantastic teas. I was just going to say, they're so good. So if you go to Kinleaf, is it kinleaftea.com? I think it is. You know, we so. uh, you know, head over there, check it out. Support Josh and uh, Violet. Violet. <laughs> there we go. So cool stuff. Cool stuff.